Hello, I'm Phobles and welcome to another episode of our Pampered Pope campaign in Europe at Universals 4. Um, I'm going to save it just in case right here and now. Um, it's that one. Yes, yes, seems fine. Seems good, seems fine. Ooh, although, well, well, well yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's the one I used. I should have maybe done that in between the videos, but I forgot and then I just started and then it came to me that I should save in case the game crashes or something. It's known to be happen. It's it's known to happen sometimes. It sometimes does happen. So <laughs> we should make sure that doesn't happen to us because I don't really know where, where well, I guess I do have the um half annual auto saves on so it saves every six months so just in case because i think a year is a pretty long time in a grand strategy game such as this so i go with the half half year period and and what were we up to i think we were about to um get poland as a friend or at least as um at least get the rival of her rival with Poland and are they do they hate Muscovy? They do. I don't really know if um which which should we take, Poland or Muscovy? I think Muscovy will be so much stronger than Poland. They already are like half they have like twice the troops, twice the force limit. Um, they are going to be wiping the floor off with Poland. So I don't think we will ally ourselves with Poland. I think we just might go with um, with an alliance with the Muscovy right now. If we ever get them too positive. Who are you uh, or not? Because you have rivaled Austria. That's just... That's just great. Everybody hates you. All of the great powers hate you. What have you done, Austria? Who hates you? Yeah, the great power ha great powers has all have all um kind of like rivaled each other, so that really sucks. Um how is our tech? Um, let's lose the Diplo power, power because we are going to be taking a admin idea group, the religious idea group, next. I don't know if we really need it, but since we are the Pope, I think we just should take it. And also because let's have a let's take a look at the policies we have. Nothing too interesting. Is there any policies that give you give you give you? more religious conversion stuff. Um, that's the policies, I think. Global tariffs, national... Uh, actually, there is with espionage. Um, is there any, anything else? And with diplomatic ideas, there is too. And with trade ideas. And that's that. Too bad we didn't take any of those. Oh, actually, there is also with aristocratic ideas. Oh well. What do we What do we get with humanism? Humanist ideas. Uh, nothing. 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 All right. Whatever. Um, should we take this or should we take the deck? The deck or the? I think this is a decently in, um kind of um, important tech level because it gives us new um, cavalry and new cannons and some flanking range. On the other hand, this will give us um, more land force limit, but we are not really at the... well, we are, we are starting to get close. So maybe we take the idea. Yeah, sure, let's take the idea. Like, yeah. It sounds like a good idea. And then let's build some more troops. We need we need an army for our little papacy. 
Papal armies are small. Too small. Too little. And that's good for us. I think, um, yeah, let's take the admin points. Um, I think we do need some more um, infantry over here and one more cavalry over this army and some more cannons, infantry and cavalry. All right, I don't care much. So how is our aggressive expansion right now looking? It is starting to go down. We only have eight with France. There is only one with Milan. Um, actually, it seems like, oh, we are not looking our own. There is five with France. There's ton with Venice. Um, there is a little bit with these people. But I don't really care about them. Do you care about them? I don't care about them. I think we should attack Firenze and take Firenze for ourselves. It's a 12 base deck, so people will be joining the coalition again. Or we could just attack a little tiny bit of Naples and... Or not. They are... But they are allied with Tuscany, so there is something. There is something to be maybe done here. We need an... They are allied with Naples and no one else, that's fine. And let's let's um, fabricate a claim on Firenze. That sounds fine. That sounds like a good idea. And now it is giving us some um, bad choices. Let's do with Ottomans then. Because we will never be friends with heathens. Heathens, Muslims. Ooh, France would... And they would... Ooh. Ooh, that's something I want to do right away. Right away. Let's do it. I'm surprised you would actually do that. Um, oh, and Castle as well. You look at that. So which do we want to take as a friend? Without a doubt we will have a problem with um, keeping France on our side. On the other hand, who would we use France against? Who would we use them to war with? How much, how strong is Castile right now? They have 25,000 and the Aragonian 23,000. Which is about the same as what France has. Minus the manpower of course, but... I don't really know, which do we want to take? Because this is a hard choice, this is a really hard choice. I think we could take France. We could probably defeat France with the help of Aragon and Castile and Austria. Most likely. If we make a coalition of coalition force of that. And England, if they would come and partner in that well, that would be really good. But let's go with Castile. I think we'll Castile is better choice for now. Just because we are going to be fighting with France sooner than with Castile, so Let's up a relationship with Castile. And that's exactly what we've been wanting to do for a long, long time. So that's really, really nice. And you don't really like that too much, but I don't really care about that. We will be friends. We will all be friends. And this is going to pop soon. And let's combine our forces. Um, there is eight, nine, and let's build some. Um, and you will need one more cavalry and nine. Was it seven? And uh, so that's um, three more, three more of cannons. Yeah, and that seems fine. It seems good and fine. Um, let's send him off to Travunia. And let's take a look at how things are going. I think things are going fairly well, I must I must say. Why we are not making so much money from... Oh, we are actually, we are making one third, so that's a lot of money, I must say. 
And we don't need to be at full maintenance right now. And with that we are at um, exactly the force limit. So that's good. That is good. France will hate us for this, but I don't care. Who are you fighting against? Tapuya? That's somewhere in... That's somewhere far away. Somewhere we don't really care. Um, I'm thinking about attacking France. I really am. It could be a good thing to do. We don't need to improve relations with Poland right now. That, that's been kind of done. And everyone would join us. You look at that. Castile would come, Switzerland would come, Austria would come. The question is, can we take him? Can we take France? I think we could. I think this is the time. This is We have to do it. I think we have to go and beat up France. I think it's time to do that. Let's fabricate a claim then. On... Um, what do we want a claim on? Something high base tax. Auvergne, no. Rogri, Narbonne. Dolon is a bit far away. Let's take Dauphin. Dauphin sounds fun. Let's fabricate a claim on Dauphin. And that's that. What's this? And we do have to take care of this stupid Milanese um, center of reformation at some point. Because they are really... They are really wrecking us. Really, really wrecking us. There is like what? There is like two centers of reformations here. And that's really... That's just so nasty. Like seriously, this is going to be a big clusterfuck of religious fighting. And that's kind of bad for us. Yes, yes. We have to do whatever we have to do. So our armies are about ready to go to war with France. Um, with jointly with um, Austria and 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 Castile and that'll be good that'll be fine our army is at top efficiency at peak efficiency right now we have a ton of men all 40,000 we they are looking to kill some Frenchies who now has 51,000 so they are really really putting it out right now but I still think we don't really have to worry about it I think we'll be fine they will die I don't think they can really do anything else in fact I probably could even leave of the whole war for to I mean I could probably leave the fighting France to Austria and Castile and focus on on um, Naples and I think I will actually use one of my armies to destroy Naples and one to take care of um, and and one to help out with France so yeah I think that's the plan let's do it let's go to war with France that's scary. That's really scary. Yeah, that is going to be ugly. And let's put our leaders on. Actually, you will be the Pope and you will be the real guy. Yeah. Actually, no, let's not go there because we don't have full moral morale yet. That would be kind of bad. Go fight them. Go fight the French. Destroy the French. Actually, I think I will send this one. Oh, right. Oh, damn it. 
Well, we can get still get there in good time. And let's go destroy these these pesky people. Where are you going? Where are you going? Naples, where are you going? Somewhere very far away. Well, fine. Go then. And never return. Run. Run. Run away and never return. And now they are coming here. How come the French army is so strong? I mean, we should we should have the we should have superior superiority like huge superiority over them, but for some reason it seems like they are really Why are you no no why are you just standing there, man? Ooh, there it is. A fight we want to join. Oh, this is not a good fight. Unless we get some more. Austria, move your ass here. Uh, this is fine. This is a good fight. I think we will win this one. And we probably will kill much, much more than we lost. Let's see. We killed a ton of Frenchies, like... 25,000, that's 30, 35,000, um, 38,000, I think. That's 38,000 to our um, 19, 20,000. So we almost killed twice as many men as we lost. So that was a really good fight. A, it was a really nasty fight, a big fight, but it was really good for us, I think. And I'm going to move here. Go away. Don't come here. Oh, and we have just died. He's not that bad. I mean, I wished we had better, but he's not half bad. Pope Clement the Eight. I mean, he's not bad. He has 10 points. And that's all right. All righty right. Um, let's... um. No, we can't take that one yet, but let's boost this back up. I didn't want to be negative stability. And let's take the discipline. And then we can start to take tech again. So, yeah. That's where the French army is, and I think we should go and march a bit closer. Just in case they decide to attack and fight, and we want to take part in that next big fight. While we are sieging down Naples. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, Naples. You will die. A horrible death. No, I don't think that's a good fight to be in right now. That might be a good fight. No. And there it is. The fight is happening again. So let's go and reinforce. Hopefully we can win. We have a minus one, st uh, one mi minus one crushing, but. I still think we should win this one. And yes, we did. And we did kill more than we lost. So that's the big thing. That's the important thing. And then I'm going to retreat again to friendly lands to get a faster um, recovery. And how is our armies doing here? They're doing very well. Um, let's split and split and siege these up. Sure, I don't mind. And that should be just fine. Of course, we are going to have to go take the war goal at some point, but for now, but for now, it's fine to just hang around and see France, see the French burn. It's a beautiful sight. It's truly magnificent and beautiful. 
in all possible ways. Um, but still, I, I still think we need a another alliance with someone. We have um, Austria and we have, what's it called, Castile on our side. Oh, there's a fight. Let's go, 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 go. Fight, fight on, brothers. Forward. And we should win this one. We should win this one as well. Although we do have a crossing penalty again. Damn, these Frenchies know how to fight, I must say. And this time we lost more. No, well, it's pretty much equal. I, but I think we did lost a little bit more than what they lost, sadly. But we did win the fight and we do have lots of men, so... That should be fine. It should be fine. Naples, no. I'm going to sit you down. But let's send this army up. We could use it to siege Dauphin. The war goal. Yes, you hate me. That's good, France. Because I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Lucania. Alrighty then. Lucania has been sieged. Let's send him up as well. And let's keep a closer eye to what the French are doing. Are they attacking? No, they're not. Calabria has been won, that's good. Sent the army up. Um, I hope... Oh, they are actually coming here, so... Let's reinforce this fight. And hopefully, yes, we have the... They, now they have the crossing penalty. We have a smaller army for a while. But that should that should be we should be able to win this just hands down. Um, we did lose a terrible amount of men, but I think it was worth it beating up the French army like that again. I think it was very very well worth it. And we are seeking the war goal. All is good. Life is beautiful. Now we are generating a really small amount of um, Diplo and I mean ad admin points and we are thinking about getting a admin idea group next. Um, that's not, that's, that might be a little bit problematic. Um, so maybe we should go with them. Um, with some other idea group. I didn't really think we we need the conversion speed right now because we have a humanist and we are really tolerant. Well, decently to tolerant, I suppose. But still. I mean, that's not bad. We still tolerant. We are pretty tolerant towards the heretics. Um, So, I don't think we really need to take the the idea just yet but I am going to have to take a break here um, uh, if you did like the video then please do click this uh, like button and subscribe button it would really help out quite a lot and I would really appreciate it a lot um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video um, bye bye